Prentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. It's good to know some people have respect. We consider you an ally, friend. Ah, uh, okay. That was unexpected. What's the word, Dargus? I assume that since you're hailing me, the day is won? Yes, General. The Sith single-handedly turned back the entire attack. Sith, as painful as it has been, it seems you've come through. I hope you're not expecting a thank you. War makes strange bedfellows. I choose that Parvin and I live in the arms of the Empire, and I trust that my daughter will understand and remain strong. Dukendo contacted me to tell me that you have been busying yourself with personal exploits and disregarding my mission. You believed him? He's a fool. I know to take him with a grain of salt, but you've been there for some time. He's going to die. You can count on that. It will be a pleasure to be relieved of this assignment. Can we help at all? I don't need any help. No! You're supposed to protect me! This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face to face. No more. Strength is undeniable. Is there such power in the dark side? Denounce the Jedi. The darkness is your only path to inner peace. I'll. I'll consider what I've seen here. You leave me with much to ponder. Kar has fallen to the dark side. Barris will probably welcome him to the fold. Is it wise to add his strength to the dark side? I mean, isn't it safer if he's... We're beyond him now. He can do no further harm. Yes, my lord. I defer to your wisdom. I am ready to learn your ways, my lord. And I look forward to aiding you any way I am able. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. Does the task give you pause, Master? The Emperor signed the Treaty for a reason, but no, Apprentice. I see it as a great opportunity. I believe I have found a way to move the Dark Council and the Emperor happily toward war. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. If one man can thwart the Empire, how do we show our faces in public? General Gon operates from the shadows. A phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. I will punish all who are aligned with him. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. The rabbit comes out of his hole. 
Nice to see my information was correct. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the general. Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss's covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. Cease your operations, and I'll see to it you live. Keeping the fringe systems free of the Empire is more important than my life. Sith, you are Darth Barriss's apprentice? We... we know of you. This, uh, this isn't what it seems. What is it, then? I'm all ears. As am I. We, uh, cooperated with General Gon in order to learn, uh, what he was up to, so that at the right time we could betray him. Nicely played, Faust. You're a true lowlife. When this is over, so is our alliance. The Empire will welcome you back. He's about to find himself all alone. Men, take this Sith down! You will kill them all. Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. Get back to your stations. If any of you stray again, you all die. R right away, my lord. Thank you for your mercy. Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeon. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Pardon the interruption, my lords. Who is this, Barris? My mightiest apprentice, my lord, and the killer of General Gon. And clearly a dutiful minion who knows the meaning of respect. Rise, young one. You have served your master and your master's master well. It is my privilege, master. I am impressed with your choice of apprentice, Beris. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems. And they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Barris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjen out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. Now you're speaking my language. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Princess, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zerinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I will be there shortly, Master. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris out. Lord, I am preparing for my assault on Terrace. Excellent. Your mission on Terrace is to take down the Republic's entire strategic high command. The War Trust. The four generals who implement the bulk of the Republic military forces' strategic planning are all on terrace as we speak. Normally, they're never together in one place. This is an incredible opportunity. The Republic will pay for such a blunder. It won't be easy. The War Trust generals are master strategists. Generals Ferrer, Mentz, Durant, and Frelka should not be taken lightly. Each will likely be protected by his own elite guard, and they have all the Republic forces on Terrace at their disposal. Danger only makes things more fun. Do not approach this endeavor frivolously, Apprentice. Your task on Terrace represents the larger scale assault of your career. Moth Hurden leads the Imperial forces on the planet. He will provide whatever resources he can. Shuttle to the surface and seek him out immediately. Morph heard and the Sith is here. What's that, Lieutenant? 
Oh, I didn't see you come in. You must be the Sith Darth Barriss sent. Welcome to Taris. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I have never had cause to assist Darth Barriss before, but I have long been an admirer of his work. And yours, of course. I doubt she came all this way to be fawned on. Of course. May I introduce Lieutenant Pierce, on loan from one of our notorious Black Ops divisions. He is hands down my finest officer. I give you exclusive reign of him while you're on Taris, which I trust will accommodate your every need. Lieutenant, your service to me begins immediately. Good. Yes. Well, I will leave you two to your mission, then. As you proceed, if I can offer any further aid, do not hesitate to contact me. Heard we're going after the War Trust. Did some homework. If that is the mission, I'm fully prepped. Our targets are indeed the High Generals of the Republic's Strategic High Command. Time well spent, then. All four of the War Trust Generals are here on Taris, which means something big. But they never show their faces. Got my hands on a Republic scout, leaned on him, hard. He was setting up supply routes for General Frelka, the War Trust junior member. You're already proving to be a valuable asset. The story checked out. Been scoping the area the scout described. Several heavily armed Republic supply caravans run along carefully staggered routes. A couple of dozen soldiers could hit the caravans, pull their transponders, triangulate their destination with the equipment here. Moff Hurden can't spare the manpower, though. I'm easily the match of a couple dozen foot soldiers. Then I guess I'm running the tech. Here are the coordinates. Caravans run daily, but they vary the timing. I'm sure you'll come upon them eventually. Hit enough and snag the transponders. I'll figure out where they're going. Should zero in on General Froker. Transmitting the Republic caravan transponder frequencies now. Give me a minute to retrace their routes. See where they converge. By all means, go ahead. My lord, triangulation's complete. Only one place these caravans could be going. Transmitting coordinates has to be General Froker's location. Tell me anything else important about the area. We beat the reps out of there a few months back. All we found were rank caves that pirates used to use. If they snuck back in, they're after something. Good hunting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got all the soldiers. We ain't fighters, just miners. Contracted miners at that. Where is General Frelka? He's the overseer, but he ain't exactly hands-on. Hasn't been by in weeks. You gonna kill him? Yes. You have a problem with that. Hmm. Not really. Every job ends at some point. The Republic don't pay me enough to get in your way. Believe me. If I hit the silent alarm, Frelk will come with his personal guard. If that's really what you want, I can bring him here. Hit the alarm. You got it. There, it's done. The General's been summoned. Now, please, just let us live. Get out of here. Heck it up, boys. Job's over. Enemy sighted. Captain, attack pattern 077. Men, fan out! Ought 77! Be ready to engage! Wait for the General's order! Farman Varl was picked up and confessed the Sith was here, so I was able to bring backup. I am General Alexis Frelka of the Republic's Strategic High Command. Your incursion here violates the spirit of the Treaty of Coruscant. We have you dead to rights. Surrender. I have no reverence for the Treaty of Coruscant. That explains your clumsiness coming here. It's unfortunate you've discovered our plans, but no matter. The wheels are already in motion. Our new technology will deliver armed superiority to the Republic, and I'm ready to give my life to defend this installation. My mission is simply to neutralize you. Surrender to me and live. Ha! Maybe you missed it, but I've come with more than enough force to stop you. I can't let you leave and tell the Empire what you've seen. Men, this Sith must not be allowed to reveal our operation. Attack to kill!
Lieutenant Pierce. I know where to find General Minst. I'm heading there now. Great news. I've got some too. Scout report. The Battalion of War Trust General Durant is on the move. Odds are he's fortifying his position. Some of my Black Ops pals are back. We could have discreetly followed the battalion to find the General. What do you mean, could have? Morverden sent a platoon instead grounded me and the boys. His forces are engaging Durant as we speak. He's killing our chances. Summon Hurden into this conversation. I'll address him. My lord. Ah, there you are. I see Lieutenant Pierce has already hailed you. I was hoping to do it myself. Can I assume the Lieutenant has updated you? Thanks to me, General Durant's personal battalion will not be joining him, wherever he is. Engaging the General's army was a rash and foolish move. Now withdraw and allow Lieutenant Pierce and his men to scowl for General Durant's headquarters. Understood? Yes. Well, of course. I'll make it so immediately. My lord. We'll get something on Durant. I swear it. Good luck with General Minst. Start talking. Why don't you start from the beginning? Shani no solo. Yut eda iki tutuku, lo jarat roda mana mana. Staluka uba ziki danti ruba jakta nichi. The power reactor will self destruct in five minutes. Chop ting wampa la hagua kilia jekoska pagota palko. I agree to your terms. The power reactor will self-destruct in four and a half minutes. Mibunawa Twipi de Bofra Wanawanga. Save yourself, imposter. will self-destruct in 60 seconds. Alt code sequence initiated. The imposter's estimate had better be right. If this takes more than a minute, we'll be caught in the explosion. Just sit tight. I'm sure this will work. Of course, my lord. The reactor core will self-destruct in 45 seconds. Men, the enemy is accessing the fallout vault. Defeat the Sith and we can weather the explosion inside the vault. My lord, to complicate the matter, it seems we have been spotted. The immediate threat has been quelled. However, this place will explode in exactly ten seconds. Now. The reactor core will self-destruct in ten seconds. Don't worry, we're not going to die. Eight. Seven. Vault code sequence complete. The reactor core will self-destruct in five seconds. Vault lock disarming. Four. Vault door airlock releasing. Three. Vault open. Are you inside? Right behind you, my lord. Tipuna pona, manchi kabok non ni slemo. Kaptulia da pota twenty one kislimo payuk tachanga. You must be a joy to work for. Piska ku, 
Haria pitie potenia go. Ni ompi but malia peduana ni op ni bobo chek chupa goma. Chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike. Ukle yugo chesko pakurta kliska taka ya oska. I want to know everything about Project Seantide. Katulia da pota twenty one kisli mo payukta changa. Ki asadopunya liste wota se goto tomoti. Ukle yugo chesko pakurta kliska taka ya oska. What are its uses? Cosa chicta ne? Quad chineco, higa da noila, oca kisa spida per popa. O wama wanka mi tuske, o wana tablota, we jawa. Perhaps the Empire can convince you to recreate your work for us. <laughs> Moff Herden, come in. I have a prisoner. Send men to this location to pick up General Minst. Ah, yes, immediately, my lord. What do you want me to do with him? Get your best man to try to pry Generals Durant and Ferrer's location from him. Yes, of course. It will be done. He is here. Track General Durant's battalion. Led by Black Op troopers on a recon run. Found Durant's hideout. He's got a full battalion guarding the compound. They're establishing a perimeter of electronic defenses around the general. Send me the coordinates. Coordinates sent. My Black Ops troopers and I were able to slip past the perimeter before they got the systems online. But we were spotted. We're taking fire. Outnumbered. Should be able to hold them off long enough for you to break through, but that's it. Sit still. This won't take long. Well, we're not going anywhere. Knock out those defense systems. We'll hold the position for you. Or worst case, our bodies will slow down their charge. Proud to have served, my lord. Pierce out. Pierce here. They flushed us out. We're on the move. Lost a third of my men, but we're hitting them ten to one. It's still too many. I'll try to rally the men, hold the enemy off as long as I can. Pierce out. My lord, the enemy is regrouping. I'm down to three men against about 300. Hope we could take out a whole battalion, but it looks like we'll come up short. When you see him, tell Durant. My lord, I spent all my ammunition and I'm down to my last med pack. But Durant's battalion is down. So is the rest of my unit. Never seen men stare death in the face and fight more bravely. You did well. Will you survive? Lost a lot of blood, but I'll try to get back to base and patched up. General Durant and his guards have retreated inside the compound. Proud I ushered you to the doorstep. General Durant, I've come for you. I'm not hiding anymore, Sith. We delayed you long enough to achieve success. We've stabilized the sea and tide cells. Now, the Republic has a new power source. It gives us the advantage in this war. General Minst told me everything when I captured him. Minst and I have served the Republic together most of our lives. He deserves better. I ache to think of the horrors my fellow will face at the hands of the Empire. This blaster is the prototype, powered by the smallest sea and tide battery. You're about to see just how lethal it is. Everyone, attack. You. Will not defeat General Ferrer. I would have spared you. Life in chains is no life for the Republic. <sighs> I'm in a medevac transport. Arriving back at base. Needed to tap you. Darth Barris has made contact. I updated him. I have him and Moff Hurden on hollow for you. With three of the four generals taken out, Barris better be complimentary. Compliments don't seem his style. Patching him through. Apprentice, your progress has been conveyed to me, and I've been briefed on the search for General Ferrer. 
Morph heard and informs me that Ferrer has relocated all of the Republic's forces on Terrace to protect his command center at the Republic's stronghold. They will all perish under my might. In good time, my apprentice. All in good time. This assault will take all our firepower. I've summoned your crew to the base. They will all be utilized. And I've informed Morph Hurden that you are commandeering the entirety of his forces. Yes, right. They are yours to command, my lord. I have longed to lead an army. You will now sink your teeth into full-scale war. Rendezvous with Hurden, Pierce, and your crew at the Imperial base. There is much planning to do. Be swift. I'm here. Let the war begin. Yes, time is of the essence. Lieutenant Pierce, Captain Quinn, bring my apprentice up to speed on our enemy's activity. Yes, my lord, it's a fairly complex situation. General Ferrer, the War Trust's most senior member, is garrisoned in a fortified wing of the Republic's main base. He's got a huge army protecting him. More reinforcements on the way. We're outnumbered eight to one. My lord, the lieutenant's statistics are inexact, but the general thrust is sound. The numbers favor Ferrer, but there are ways around that. Stick close to the captain, lieutenant. You might learn a thing or two. Noted. Now, to maximize our chances, we must coordinate three simultaneous strikes. One will destroy the base's power station. Another will sabotage its spaceport force field to thwart any reinforcements. And the last will force the conscripted regiments of Ferrer's army to flee. That sounds simple enough. Quinn will coordinate from the base, and you will lead the frontline offensive. Beyond that, decide how to assign your men. Goodbye. I'm the best choice for frontline work. You need a soldier. I disagree. If the frontal assault isn't handled correctly, your route into the command center will be clogged with run-over battlefield soldiers. In my opinion, Jaysa should join you. She can use her power to see into the hearts of the enemy and identify the insecure ranks. I want Jaysa's insights on the battlefield. Very good, my lord. That leaves Pierce and Vett to handle the power station demolition and the spaceport sabotage. If the traps and mines that protect the power station aren't circumvented in time, you'll be under constant turret fire inside the Republic base. Vet, clear the way so the power station can be destroyed. Child play. Unless Pierce can lock the spaceport force field in time, you'll face Ferrer's reinforcements inside the base. Don't worry about me. Captain. Assaults have been assigned, my lord. Once you've cleared the way on the front, invade General Ferrer's command center at will. Let's get this war started. My lord, any final words for the troops? Today we fight as one. I believe in every one of you. Join me in victory. If that doesn't inspire, nothing will. Good luck, my lord. I'll be coordinating the attacks via Hollow. Don't worry, Captain. The real soldiers have got this one. All alert. The enemy is sighted. <laughs> Sith, you are massively outnumbered. You will not invade General Ferrer's headquarters. Turn away at once. Jaysa. Use your power and scan Ferrer's forces for the weak link. Right away, my lord. I sense much strength and conviction in most of these men. Wait. There. An entire column of soldiers who are forced to be here. Concentrate the attack on them and they will run. Lead the assault against the conscripts, Jaysa. Make them flee. Men, follow me. Attack! Conscripted scum! We still have numbers! All attack! My lord, I have updates from the other fronts. I'm pleased to report that the Republic power station has been destroyed. 
Vet went through their traps like they were infant toys. From her report, I doubt anyone else could have achieved it. You were right in assigning her to strike the power station. I will reward her for a job well done. When she puts her mind to it, she can be a very valuable asset. With the base security systems down, you'll endure no automatic turret fire on our way to Ferrer's command center. On the other front, Lieutenant Pierce was able to sabotage and lock the Republic spaceport force field controls. Pierce has proven himself up to every assignment. The credit is yours for identifying his strengths. Still, the General's elite guard clogs the way to the command center. They are quite formidable. Danger only makes things more fun. Then this may be the most fun you've had yet. There's no time to lose, my lord. Ferrez Command Center awaits. Good luck. It's time for you to join the rest of the War Trust, Ferrer. Quite the contrary. After you took down my fellows, I knew my only chance was to delay you. And my gambit has paid off. I bought enough time for my technicians to solve how to stabilize Seantide cells of any kind. The future is upon us, Sith, and you have the privilege of bearing witness. Enemy sighted. Weapon systems targeted and locked. You're quite a showman, Ferrer. This is nothing. Sea and Tide technology increases the strength of whatever it powers tenfold. The Republic fleet and arsenal will make your weapons obsolete. The Empire will have no choice but to surrender, which you should do now. It is you who should surrender, General. And let the Empire gain this technology? Never. Freud! Full assault! Engaging all weapons. You are beaten, General. I can't believe it. All this work. All this death. For naught. I wish I could sit around and discuss where I went wrong. But a good leader always has an exit strategy. Not so fast, General. I thought you might try to run. I can always count on you, Quinn. I surrender. I expect to be afforded the treatment promised to prisoners in the Treaty of Coruscant. You will be treated however Darth Barris wishes. Yes, well, I will gladly take the General into custody. Congratulations on the success of your mission. Taking down the War Trust is an incredible victory. It is clear you are the future of the Empire, and I hope you will count me among your closest allies. The feeling is mutual, Herden. As a show of support, I place Lieutenant Pierce under your command. He will be invaluable in your domination of the galaxy. Works for me. Done what I can here on Terrace. Glad you're willing to let me go, Herden. You're meant for greater things, Lieutenant. With me, you will fulfill your destiny. You won't be disappointed. Lieutenant Fallin, I will brief you on how things work here when we are back on the ship. Can't wait. Apprentice, the Ward Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. I'll stop the siege, master. That is an excellent idea. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. <laughs>